Did you know there is a connection between your liver health and your gut health? Well, in this video today, we'll discuss exactly what your liver does and how the role of the gut can actually impact your liver. And at the very end of the video, I'll give you my tips on what I recommend to get your liver health back on track. If you are suffering from a liver disease, this video is for you guys. Let's talk about food. Howdy y'all, Dr. Islam here, AKA your poop guru, gut microbiome expert. I'm board certified gastrologist trained at the Mayo Clinic. Thank you for watching this video. So what exactly is the liver? The liver is an organ on your right side that's main role is to detoxify or get rid of toxins in your body. Every single day, we are inundated with toxins, whether it's toxins that we drink. Alcohol is one of them. Toxins that we eat, you know, crappy food, those processed foods, it can be detoxified in the liver or even toxins from other sources that we're not even aware of. And your liver's sole function is to detoxify your body, get rid of those toxins so you don't have to have them accumulate inside your body, inside your bloodstream to make you sicker and to make you not feel good. And when your liver is damaged, that is when the issues of toxicity can occur. Now, it's very important for us to minimize that damage or to at least keep our liver as healthy as we can. And your gut microbiome actually plays a role in this and your gut health can play a role in this as well. Let's discuss this in more detail. Now we're seeing more and more evidence of how the gut microbiome actually plays a role in a lot of conditions inside our body, our GI tract, and outside the gut. And the liver is no exception to that. Many of the toxins that actually get detoxified in the liver actually go through the gut first. And it's important to have a healthy gut to minimize that effect on your liver. When your gut is healthy, when it's doing its optimal, most important thing, when it's swollen and strong, it does a better job of removing those toxins initially before it goes into your liver. Your gut acts as a first line of defense when it comes to your GI tract and what you're eating. And whenever we have an impaired gut, when our microbiome is not working properly, Properly, your gut does not do a good job as a first line defense, meaning more and more toxins can attack the liver to make it more damaged and make it more impaired as well. And I actually had a patient recently who was suffering from liver disease, which we had no idea why. When we got down to the root cause of that was what she was eating and the toxins that her gut was not able to metabolize and get rid of. And so if you're not able to have an optimal gut that makes it harder for your liver to do the job that it needs to do, it can make it harder for your liver to attack and get rid of the toxins, especially the first line defense is not there. Number two, and I alluded to this, is the gut microbiome. These trillions of bacteria, fungi, and viruses that are interacting within your body also affect the liver as well. Now your gut holds the ecosystem of all these bacteria, and there's constant interaction between the environment, your body, the food that you eat, the things that you drink, all interacting with your gut microbiome to helpfully improve your gut bacteria or make the bad guys more prevalent to make it harder to maintain a healthy gut integrity. So when you have a change in your gut microbiome in your GI tract, those changes can manifest in liver disease as well. Now managing that gut microbiome, the root cause for a lot of our diseases going on in the Western world can really affect what can happen when it comes to liver doing a job that it needs to do. So what can you do today to affect not only your liver health, but your gut health? Here are my recommendations. I recommend this to anyone who's hoping to optimize their liver and their GI tract. They're simple, but easy and effective. Number one, you cannot drink alcohol. Now I know there are a lot of us out there that like to drink, maybe have a social drink, maybe just like to unwind, but I can tell you, don't drink alcohol. Alcohol is a direct toxin to your stomach, to your gut and to your liver. There is literally no benefits with drinking alcohol at all. It doesn't matter what type of alcohol that you drink. It doesn't matter if it's hard liquor, if it's wine, if it's on the occasional basis, or if it's all the time. Any amount of alcohol damages your GI tract. It can cause gastritis or inflammation in your stomach. It can change the makeup of your gut microbiome to make less good guys and more bad guys. And with respect to your liver, it can directly attack the liver. There's a lot of individuals that suffer from liver disease because of alcohol that they're drinking. And so if you want to improve your gut microbiome and your health, the first thing you need to do is just eliminate alcohol. Find other ways to de-stress or relax, but alcohol is a direct toxin to not only your gut and your liver. Number two is fiber. You know if you've been watching this channel, I love fiber. I'm a fiber fiend. It is the foundation for gut health, but also liver health as well. It's like having a house. The foundation needs to be set, and that foundation is fiber. Without that foundation, you cannot build on top of that. It's the exact same thing with both your liver and your gut. 
the more fiber that you have, the recommended fiber that you have, the best fiber that you have, the more helpful it's gonna be for your gut microbiome and your liver health. So add more fiber, at least 20 grams per day to improve your gut health and your liver health. And number three, black coffee. Yes, black coffee has been shown in multiple clinical trials to help out when it comes to your liver health and your gut health. Now, I wanna be very clear here, guys. It is not coffee with all the yummy stuff. Not coffee with cream. Not coffee with sugar. Not coffee with milk. No, it's gotta be straight up black coffee. Two to four cups per day, either caffeinated or decaf, has been shown in multiple studies to help out when it comes to liver disease. Now, it doesn't matter what type of black coffee that you have. It doesn't matter if it has caffeine or not add black coffee to your diet. It has antioxidants, anti-inflammatory molecules, and other substances to improve your liver and your gut health. So here's my call to action to you. If you want to improve your gut health today and your liver health, try these things, see if it helps out to hopefully get your liver taken care of. My question for you, if you have a question about your liver health, comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and my newsletter to get more information about what you can do to optimize your liver health and your gut health. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks everyone.